Alright, so let me show you guys how I set up my UI. So, first off, we'll download the file, you go to wireinterface.com, and you look up real UI. Let me download it. Save file. Now, I like making a new folder on my desktop for it, so I'm just going to go here. So it's using RenRAR. If you don't have RenRAR, it's pretty good. It's like WinZip. Uh, desktop, yeah. Real UI test. Okay. So it's going through here. Okay, it's done. The thing to keep in mind is that this um, interface is normally updated pretty regularly and they also provide a patch so a patch file um, here are the add-ons that are included some of these add-ons I use some of them I don't um, I'll go over that in a second and they give you some instructions um, they also give you instructions of add-ons you may not want to update so it's a good thing to follow you'll just kind of mess up with your UI Right, so we'll go back to desktop. Now here's the test file. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to make a backup of my current interf interface. So I'm going to go to make a new folder, backup interface. Go to my computer. Go to my solid state drive. Warcraft. Copy. Actually, cut. I'm going to cut it. Okay. And also go to your WTF file. Account. Copy. This is mainly if you save both your interf your interface and your WTF folder under your username. If something were to go wrong with your interface and you wanted it to revert back to what you had prior, you could do so. So I like doing that. It's just kind of useful. So in the U real UI folder, there's this. It's real UI. So all you do is I just take interface. I don't really like the font. It changes your fonts up, so I just take the interface folder. Uh, I don't even mess with the WTF folder anymore, I don't think. But I'll, I'll do it anyway, just to show you. Alright, so interface and WTF. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy these two files here within the W oh, not delete. Copy them from the W2 folder they gave you. Cop paste it over. Do for all, yep. Copy and replace. Account. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it with my username, but I copied over the config, so it should be okay. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna log in. Yeah, give me a second. All right. So I'm going to pause for a second so I can type in my information. Alright, so now I've logged in. I'm going to go through the add-ons I use. I don't use Arc, Inventory, Bad Boy's good. It's a spam like uh, filter. Escape, but Grabber, DXC, I don't use DXC. Grid's good, I said. 
Oh, I, you don't. I don't use ice HUD too. If you like, if you like using a HUD, you know, feel free. But it's not my thing. Mapster is good. Scoring text is fine. Um, if you don't know, what, I'm I'm just gonna disable it because if you if you like using mixed balance scoring text, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, then then I I guess you could find a way to to figure out what to do. Let's see, Omen three good. <clears throat> Omni CC good. Pitbull, Reflex good. Reforged tool tip good. Scada, I don't use Scada. I don't use it. If, if your guild uses World of Logs, it's probably best just to use that anyway. Like Sweet, I like Tip Top is good. Tildy plates, Strat plates is awesome. All right, and then this is the pitch. Um, Real UI has some modules. There's a graphic that shows upward and downward incline if you don't like it you can turn it off by going to here and disabling it not a big deal okay so I'm showing you from a person who has a mana perspective because real UI does not have a a bar it's just a single line it shows you health on on the top and mana on the bottom alright so here we go well, I've changed the install, so you go here. Okay, so English, good. DPS, okay. So we're gonna go to healing. I'm mainly gonna do this for healer perspective. Um, heal, heal. So I'm just gonna do a double heal. Install. Is it installing? Hmm. All right. So stat display. So. So I can pull it up over here. So right here they'll show you some stats. So I guess for a healer, you would probably want something like uh, maybe haste and crit maybe. Let's see, spell crit. Or is it spell crit? Okay. And I'll do theme from the secondary spec just so it stays consistent. It looks like they set it up right. You can um, you can move the positioning of where these bars are by going slash real UI and um, frame mover. Yeah, I think you can move it around. Let's see. Uh, UI frame. So well, let me move it. Hmm. <laughs> I thought you used to be able to move it. Anyway, but there's a couple of cool things in the, in the real UI interface here so you can do like character settings, alter power bar, watch. Or watch is like there's different different things based on the class and character you are. It'll show you combat finder, omen, chain of watch frame, or watch. Omen has some funny things. I'll show you that in a little bit. Grid layout. That's no big deal. That's I'll show you that as well. Um, really though, they're really it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Like this is fine. Um, you can move it. It's not letting me move it right now. I'm not quite sure why, but it's not a huge deal. You can uh, open and collapse. And um, if you like things like power ores, you can put that in as well. DBM as well. So I'm, I'll show you DBM and Omen in a second. But it's pretty self-explanatory. The buttons down here represent the di the different um, letters for the different themes. So, for example, if you were in a guild, you press G, it would open up the guild tab. It'd show you, you know, what's going on for the day or only or the roster achievements that sort of thing. 
C's character. Uh, S is or P is spellbook. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I use this add-on. This is a different add-on that I'm used to. They have this. Add There's an add-on that they're using for this. I don't use it. I'm not quite sure what it is. I probably would have to disable it. But anyway. So there's that. T's talents, but that's N. Q for quest or L for quest log. So all like the normal stuff's down here. It shows you the frames, all that good stuff down here. And on the right side, it shows you the scale. You change the scale based on what you like. You change what your focus is. It has a calendar, the time of the day, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. Self-explanatory. I don't have a flyer, so I can't show you what a flyer is on this tomb. Basically, I just wanted to show you the mana. Let's see if I can. Oh, and also I probably should show you bartender too. Bartender is interesting with real UI. They put in some preconditioning, preconditioned things in here. I don't like it too much, but let me show you lock. Okay. So there's a couple things I don't use. Bar, use, use Blizzard vehicle frame. I just like it better. Um, I don't need XP bar, Blizzard art bar if you wanted to use that. I don't like it, but if you're into it, you could use it. Totem bar, good. Reputation bar, don't really need it. Vehicle, don't really. Oh, it's there, whatever. Pet, I don't use pets because I don't have any pets on my tune. I think. You don't really need it as a shaman either, I wouldn't think. So I disable it. Micro menu, don't need it. Bag bar, don't need it. Okay. So you see this is bar one, bar two, bar three. They put some pre preconditioned things in here. You get a visibility and they use a custom condition. I think they only they have it set up where you're doing it in combat. I don't really care for it. I leave it open all the time. So bar one. Bar two. I don't even use button grid, too. Button grid, they'll show you the the missing icons. I don't like using that either. Right, let me go back over there and do button grid. Make sure there's no button grid. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it. And I think bar force, uh, let's see, button grid, no, visibility. I like the setup on uh, bartender where you can fade out. So basically, I'll show you what happens now. Lock. So now you can just hover over it and it shows up and it's gone. Hover up and gone. No big deal. The other thing too, if you're not used to bartender, is you, you click um, key bindings and you go down to the key and you press the key. So I'm going to press 1 and this ability will change to 1. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Wait, should have gone to 1. I'm bound one from action bar twelve. So I'll press escape. See it sets a one. It just says a one in the middle. Two. Set to zero. Or it says mouse sc scroll wheel up. Escape. Four. So you just do that with all your abilities. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, and it's really convenient. It's a lot easier than going through the default Blizzard UI and go into key bindings, going down and choosing it. I'm going to try to find out how to get rid of that this overlay here. Give me a second here. I'll figure it out and tell you what it is.